straightallday.com. Mr. I'm going to use an in and out dribble into a windshield bounce, going to a spin move, and I'm going to shoot a short mid range jump shot there. So I got a little deep on that first one here. I'm going to go with that windshield, that spin. My shot's happening at about 15 feet. So notice that when I'm spinning, most important thing for me when I'm doing this move, this drill, is that I want to square up out of the spin move into my shot. Now, whether that square up happens off of the spin here on that particular spin, you see when I land, I'm point both of my all my toes are pointed straight towards the basket, so I'm squared up to where I want to shoot from. Now let's just say you come out of that spin and you kind of turned a little bit at an angle, not towards the basket. You will have to square up either in the air or if you have a chance, you might have the time to square up on the ground. But depending on the game situation, if you're playing in a five on five, you do a spin move and land at the foul line 15 feet from the hoop. With nine other people on the floor, you probably won't have the space to square up on the ground. You're going to have to go straight up and square up in the air. Now, you might not have that skill or be able to do that and hit an accurate shot. So then you might have to pass, which means you need to spend more time practicing on your spin move to get to the proper squared up position. But also remember that this is not a move you got to memorize. You're working on your skills here, not memorizing moves. Thumbs up to like the drill. Work on your game. Dre all day. It's Melvin Dalberry Jr. Work on your game.